It is I, John underscore Silva underscore, uh, your homie boy streamer, streamer of the year. Um, how are you doing? So today we have Dan asking, uh, how to use high contrast and it still looks realistic. Space, 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 space. If I try something like that, it looks really bad. Like using very dark black tones. <laughs> if you try to do something like that, you're, it looks really bad. Uh, the short answer is you're just not as good as as uh, Maxim. <laughs> um, but the longer answer is you need to practice. I mean, I will help. I will do uh, the, the... I will help you out with this. Uh, but you need to practice uh, the structures of a face. I, it's kind of related to what... I've done an art review to you, Dan, and it's very related to what I mentioned before. You need to know the planes of the face. So, for example... Alright, let's paint. I can't have, I can't have two episodes where I don't paint. Um, Alright, so for example... Um... Let me take the microphone away from me. All right, let's draw here. And then he has a beautiful smile. Look at him go. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I'm 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 jumping too far ahead. All right. So when I when I say the structure of the of the head, what I really mean, well, actually, I I think I said the planes of the head. Um, so what that really means is when a face goes in, right? For example, there on the cheekbone. According to the light source, if you have a light source going up, and a part of your face goes in. That that's that should be considered one plane, especially in a character like the way um, Maxim drew. So this would be the lo the underside of your cheekbone, right here. Okay, and the same goes with the nose. What is the plane of the nose according to the anatomy uh, that uh, Maxim drew? Um, you should dissect that, and and the way you do it is just. Honestly, it's just practice. It's, it's just a get good, dude, la, type of thing. Um, but really, pay attention to the shape uh, of the shadows. And it's one good way. It really contrasty um, photos, not just paintings, but really contrasty photos can show the planes of the face really easily. Also, there's a really not neat tool called Asaro Head. Asa Asa Asaro's, Asaro's Head. Um, that it's it's a it's a sculpture that it's made of geometric shapes and it shows the planes of it's like a low poly look for low poly 3D models it's it really is like that um, so imagine like you would have a, a 3D wireframe going on here I'm gonna try to uh, do one rather quickly you know like the way you'd see in a lot of 3D Three D uh, models, especially if they're lower poly, you'd see always something like, like this, right? Um, and it's really, it's it's really just like that, to be honest. Um, and now, according to now that you know the planes of the face, aka the the form of the face, you can now dictate according to the light source. So if this light source seems to be a little bit on the left, kind of frontal. So let's put it here, like it's in front of us, All right? And it's shining kind of like this. Um, according to the light source, now you can tell which shape will go in and which shape will go. Oh, sorry, which which depending on which plane is pointing towards the light source, uh, that that plane will be lighter, right? So for example, here, this plane could be one of the lightest 
in the image because it kind of, it's kind of like angled towards the 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 light source right and you can probably see other similar planes this is where the hair would be i'm not going to draw the hair but here maybe oh here too um you could have like a another subdivision right there uh obviously the side of the nose as you can tell on his painting that would be a smaller subdivision in there um the the upper part of the lip here right next to the nose usually tends to be quite bright because it it, it points upwards um and it's all it's all a matter of that really so what you want to do is dissect first the deeper shadow actually you can do either way you can start with the lightest lights or the darkest darks it doesn't really matter but in his case i'm going to skip ahead and um i'm going to give him a joker smile and i'm always keeping in mind the planes of the face all right i shouldn't be i shouldn't really be using this brush cuz it looks kind of fuzzy but this whole area is like pretty dark i'm also going to higher the opacity there you go um right um so you can start very like it's a complex roblox character <laughs> think of it that way all right <laughs> you're just like you first form all of these blocks and you adding shadow to it of course um there's i will say there's a bit of uh deliberate artistic expression in this all right, this is not. I would recommend mainly looking at uh, photos. Although Maxim is amazing, I love his work. He's goddamn beast at what he does. Uh, but I would still recommend to to mainly look at mainly look at photos, my dude. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to draw the, the hair, so I'm just going to, this is going to be an outline of like the face. Um, yeah, so once you're done with the deepest shadows, I'm actually going to make these shadows even deeper. There you go. That's much better. Um, what, actually a good practice, uh, it, it almost feels like, uh, coloring in the numbers. Imagine that, uh, da, 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 imagine this has, uh, the light. The lightest is one, uh, and then you have your meat tone. The 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 would be somewhere here two, and your darkest shadows would be three, All right? Like this way, you can visualize what I'm trying to say, even better. Um. So let's continue. Here, and now I'm gonna start adding the meat tones. So. Here we go. Uh, actually, midtowns. So number twos, two, um, and of course, depending on depending on how sculpted your face is, some places are flatter than others. So, which means that uh, you're gonna have the surface surface level is gonna either pop out more or less. In his case, it's quite flat with very subtle variances. So we're gonna do that. There's a lot of number twos going on here so a lot of meat tones and that's exactly what we're gonna we're gonna be doing um all right and a little bit here and of course like um Pay attention to where you're painting, the shape that you're painting. This is a terrible brush. I don't know why I'm still <laughs> painting with it. I, I guess I like it somehow. Um, but uh, keep in mind the shape and the planes that you're painting at all times, constantly. Always think about what you're doing. Don't just wing it. 
otherwise you're not never going to learn anything um it's always best when you when you're uh, keeping an eye on everything make sure that you're you're doing things correctly or you, not maybe not correctly but like you're doing stuff and you're thinking about it right um all right so you, you you're getting what I, you're seeing where i'm getting at uh now we're gonna add more ones uh, I guess you could divide this into four. Instead of having one, two, three, it could be one, two, three, four, so that the absolute highlights uh, are only in very special areas. Um, I mean, there's still a couple of areas that I'm missing here, like here and there. But you're getting, you're getting where you're, you're understanding where I'm getting at, right? Um, but yeah, let's let's uh, even things out a little bit. You know, it's, uh, his face is quite flat. So I am going to blend a couple of areas, a couple of areas with one and two, mostly, right? I'm also ignoring the, I need a different brush. This is horrible. Um, it can be this one. This is fine. Um, so one and two, and you start creating a gradient between the two, always keeping in mind the change in the planes. Like that. Uh, sometimes an area, uh, a plane that you might consider, um, you would consider maybe darker, in, and instead you see that it's lighter. Uh, that might happen because of reflection. So another area on the face is reflecting onto like, so it happens a lot that the cheekbones reflect light into the inside of the uh, brow bone. It happens quite often. Oh, what am I doing? Sorry, I, I'm supposed to do ones here. Gonna be kind of. All right. And uh, at this point, I could pretty much merge. Uh, da, 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 everything. Take out the numbers and start blending. You know, of course, I'm gonna have a much smoother, um, a much smoother uh render than him due to brushes. But this is a value question, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna start blending in some areas. And of course, this is just the basic shapes. You then have like all the details, all the little like skin wrinkles and skin cracks and all of those stuff make uh, make up the image to be super cool, obviously. Um... Anyways, uh, I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm having fun with this. Uh, this is a pretty cool image, but uh, I think I'm beyond. Uh, I, the point is made, right? The point is made, according to at least the, the question, right? I could keep going and do, add the hair and whatnot, but um, it is mostly. I just try to. I just try to. Turn black and white, a black and white image. <laughs> uh, there's a little bit here too. Here on the lip. Of course, there's like highlights. Like here and there. You can keep, you, you can always keep like refining forever. But um, I could actually flatten out this area a bit more. Anyways. Especially if I make it smaller. 
try to match it. Uh, I feel like mine is a bit more contrasted than his. Uh, so I definitely would um, add more light to, add more ones to the twos. So add more highlights or light actually to my mid-tones. It feels like the, the mid-tones are actually more at the edge of the character than not according to the to the light source so yeah this feels this feels a bit better um but uh yeah i mean this concludes this this code this this <laughs> the silver decodes i'm already tired the silver decodes um thank you dan for asking the questions um or well this question and the other ones before um Without you guys asking the questions, Silver Decodes would not exist. So thank you for that. And I'll see you on the next uh, Decodes. Goodbye.